is uh, so it's Leverkusen versus Roma is the first game. Leverkusen at minus 200, Roma at plus 500. Leverkusen lead the first game, uh, first egg 2 0. The draws at plus 350. The under over is set at three, but it's a listen, it's a dog at plus 112. Get yourselves in the chat, let's have a little look and think to ourselves, Roma have got to go and throw caution to the wind, but. Stinch, the last thing you want to do is try and take the fight to Leverkusen. Is this one of those where Roma have got to be patient and just try and uh, replicate what Leverkusen did to them in the first leg? I think it's important to generally not say this in betting because there's reason there is odds available is because there's a probability of, of anything happening. But I would be very surprised to see Roma find a way to, to get through this tie. We, after, especially after everything we just said I mean talking about Leverkusen with like pressure off like the Bundesliga is five times harder to win than the Europa League they were what plus plus 4,000 or something flash yeah, to win the Bundesliga that yeah. season and then to win the Europa League they wouldn't have been bigger than plus than plus uh, 10,000 plus 900 so that that's the monkey off the back there they they picked up that title success and I don't see there being nerves or anything like that at all. But the reason I find this one really difficult to, to find a, a betting angle is because Leverkusen have that two-goal lead. Now, I know everything I said before is that they are relentless. Yep, that's correct, etc. But are they really going to be relentless if it's nil-nil with half an hour to go? Surely Alonso starts to do some resting and subbing and rotating. Or if you disagree and think they're going to go for it, then obviously you need to find a, find a, find a bet to place. But the market already suggests that this tie starts nil-nil, right? Leverkusen minus 200. Or it already suggests that they're going to go all out to win it. I just don't really like these spots as a gambler. I don't really want to be on teams to win when they don't need to, especially at minus 200. Roma, I'm not sure. I'm not sure they'd, they're going to score. But again, like, I don't really want to back it because I feel like there, there could potentially be... Um, chances for them to score if ultimately uh, Alonso decides to rotate or mentally the Leverkusen players know that they don't need to, to win so I just think this tie for me there's so many different scenarios and unfortunately the, the odds if I was to if I wanted to place a bet and it obviously would be with Leverkusen I mean there's nobody out there that really wants to be back in Leverkusen minus one right at minus 122 like are they really wanting to try and win the tie by four goals I just Yes, they play in that style, but I just think there they might be a time where Alonso says, "Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the opportunity to arrest somebody." Um, we see the difference that Zaka makes, for example. He was out suspended uh, when they were at home, and was it against Stuttgart, I think it was, and they drew two-two with a couple of late goals, and then we see him leading by example with the with the goal he scored at the weekend. So, just think there may be an opportunity for Alonso to actually rest a couple of players. So. Despite everything I've said, I do think Leverkusen will probably go out and win the game. I just don't really want to be backing them at the odds available. Yeah, I don't give Roma a hope. Yeah, I mean, well, listen, we're, we've got to try and uh, build hope for Roma here because they have actually got the right type of players to go there and, and score a couple of goals. But I'm not sure they'll keep a clean sheet. It's an easy team talk to have. You've lost 2-0. It is only half time. Get the first goal, Roman, and anything can happen. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, we know that Bayer are, are happy to sit back and, and just wait. But uh, obviously, Roma at some point, I think, have to push, you know. So, I mean, that's where the game could open itself up and we could see opportunity, opportunities both sides, basically. Because Roma need not just one goal, they need two goals. So, whether they decide to wait till the second half to push harder, I don't know. We'll have to see. But at some point, Roma are going to have to go for it. And we know that uh, Bayer Leverkusen can counterattack and can score. And in fact, you know, they scored in one in all their home games this season in the Europa League. So, uh, honestly, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point Bayer get their goal, but that's because Roma have been pushing, and I think Roma could maybe scratch their goal, maybe two, uh, which would be definitely very difficult because we all know how good Bayer are, especially at home. But uh, I just think that at some point it will open up, and I think that maybe we will see a few goals here and, here and there from both sides. Yeah, without a doubt, I think we see goals because Leverkusen are not great defensively. I mean, all of their games that they've scored them 17 goals in the, like, the last sort of five or, or six minutes of games, have, a lot of them have come back 
and made sure that their unbeaten record stays intact. Mitch, are you sure that that says plus 297 for Roma to score twice? Or is it, I mean, that's just unbelievable. I can see him winning this game, but I can also see it not being enough. Let's have a little look at the official picks. It's a great game, this, especially if Roma, like, can just maybe keep it tight, nil-nil halftime. If they go in one-nil at halftime, are we going to see a different sort of emotion come over the home side? Because we're expected, and if they've listened to people on the outside, although they have been mentally strong, they could actually take their eye off the ball, and we could see this game go... Uh, go deep into the 95 minutes. I've got, okay. Stinch stayed away. Both teams scoring over two and a half at plus 120 for me. Uh, even if I get the 3-1 or 2-1 or 2-2, uh, both teams to score at minus 125 for Roman.